Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here today. So today's video is going to be a I follow a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. As you guys can see, this is the look that I'm following. This was so interesting and kind of fun. So let me know if you guys like these videos. All right, so let's get started. Don't get scared. I'm gonna be bare face. So for this look, the first step is grabbing scotch tape and it tuck it in to the lower lash line. Feels weird, right? Mm-hmm. I've never taped my eye before. So we're gonna begin with an eye primer. I'm gonna use Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. I'm strictly going in with contour colors. I'm going to be using Java. She used the Beverly Hills Java. Isn't that from like the contour kit? Like this? Let me see. Java, yeah, Java is this one right here. She put this on the crease. Oh God, I feel like Java is way too dark for like a transition color. And I feel like I'm building it too much. Like I should stop, but I can't. Let's just see what she does next. To take cinnamon and lay it right underneath Java. So she took in cinnamon, which looks a little bit like, she's using contour colors. So I'm gonna use Havana. So I'm gonna put Havana right underneath uh, Java, which is what she did. I just smudged this all over my white shirt. So right underneath this, I'm gonna put Havana. It's so pro fresh. Well, I really need to go get my eyebrows done. Please don't judge me. Come on, you know you had these days before, so don't even front. I feel like I should put a darker, darker, darker brown on there. So I'm gonna go in with this color and I'm gonna put that on the crease, on the outer crease because that's what she's doing. And I think that those contour colors were way too light for me, so that's what she did. So let me put that there. Yeah, I feel like that's so much better. What do you think? And I'm using the same brush because it seems like she's using the same brush or maybe I'm just tripping. And I see what she does next. Go in a little bit with a black. Create kind of like an eyeliner effect with black eyeshadow so I can blend it in. I'm so scared about this part because black can just mess up your whole entire look. I'm gonna use Obsidian and I'm gonna, oh my God, this is a black. I'm gonna like lightly tap into that, like so lightly, you guys don't even understand. Like I'm gonna lightly tap on it. Like not even, you guys can't see because this is black, but she's going into like the tape and then like into the crease a little bit and creating like an eyeliner effect. I'm putting <laughs> the product more on the tape than on my eyelid, but it's kind of working, so. Let me tap it again, that's enough. And then do the other side. I feel like this eye is coming out so much better than this eye, but that's just me. Now after you're done blending in the black, you can take it off and continue working on the eye. Just pull at the edge. Cool. So now she's taking off that um, tape, so let's see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. So does. For today's look, I want to do something a little bit bronzy. So on her finger, she picked up a ColourPop um, Game Face Super Shock Eyeshadow. She's going for a bronze look. So let's see. Modern Renaissance. Nope. Uh, no. Let me check the subculture. I also have the subculture new palette. So if you guys want to see a look on that, let me know. Or if you guys want to see like a first impression, because as you guys can see, that's brand new. So this one has a door, which looks kind of similar to that. Should we use a door or interior? Oh, definitely. We're definitely using eternal because it kind of has more of a... Um, What's it called? More of a 
Wow, my skin. I thought my skin was doing good, but I guess not. Just excuse it, girl. Like more of a bronzy gold, which is what she's using, and she went in with her finger. Mm hmm. She put it like kind of like right in the middle, not so much like towards this side. So I'm just gonna with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the same. Wow, this color is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, I'm flipping you guys off. <laughs> so let me put it on the side too. What do you think? I think this is pretty. Really pretty actually. Like this is something I would actually like wear. Now I'm gonna pick up a gel liner and line her lash line. I don't owe like the pot gel eyeliner. I owe like the liquid. So I don't know what I should do. But oh my god! I actually have from her birthday edition, she has the dark browns um eyeliner so I'm just gonna use that this is brand new like brand new put it on my lash line oh yeah it's dark I feel like it's not dark enough should I mix it with the black I'm gonna mix it with the black I think this could be a mistake let's see oh no it's working it's kind of working as a gel black eyeliner so I'm using this one and this one and I'm using it as a gel eyeliner because she's using a black eyeliner and I don't have one so. So now she moved on to... Now I'm going to use the foundation illuminator. I don't have that foundation illuminator that she's talking about but I do have the color FX um, highlighter which I feel like it would be fine if I put it underneath or I have this sun kiss illuminator this could probably enhance my pores but if Kylie doing it we all doing it then I'm gonna use the foundation lightly blend these two colors together I'm gonna be using my naked skin foundation this foundation at first, it looks like it's not my color, but it is, so maybe it's not. I don't really know. This is um, my beauty blender from TJ Maxx. All right, so I have my foundation on. I am going to try out something new on her, and which is the, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline concealer in the color 20. And she's using it like on her, like right here. She's using a brush to like dab it in. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is a max, max coverage concealer from Bare Minerals. And I'm gonna do exactly what she's doing. She's just like dabbing it in there. Oh my God, I can't. I'm so used to like using my beauty blender for this. Now I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown in Chestnut to contour. I'm gonna take this LA Pro Concealer in the color, what is the color? Toast. Wait, what? Um, she all of a sudden has like, I'm just like powder. Everything. So she's baking under her eyes. She didn't even blend out the contour. Okay, I'm gonna use this Air Spun Loose Face Powder. Let's see what she does next. Now I'm gonna work on her brows. I really like the concentration of this product. She does her brows now. I already have my on because that's a whole 30 minutes. Take another slant brush and go in with black shadow. And I am just a tiny line connecting that wing to her lower lash line, even though she's raising her eyebrow right now. <laughs> like, I hate the tiny line. <laughs> She hates the tiny line, so I'm gonna use obsidian again and put it underneath the what, like under the lash. And the, I can't talk. There we go, tiny line. 
So now we're gonna use her ratchet lashes. Okay, so now they're gonna use her ratchet lashes. You could get these at ebay.com for 99 cents for 10 pairs. So let me curl my eyelashes while the glue is getting tacky. Just, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> you asshole. Let me put my eyelashes on. My ratchet eyelashes from eBay. Cannot get any more ratchet than that. Like Kylie thought she had a ratchet eyelashes. Well, look at me now. We have the eyelashes on. I'm going to use an orange color and I'm going to place it on her cheekbones and I'm gonna use the orange as a base to amplify the blush. Ooh, what? Use the orange to amplify the blush. I have these really old palettes from BH Cosmetics. It's this one, the 10 color palette, blush palette from um, BH Cosmetics. There's an orange right there, so I'm gonna use that. This might be a fail, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put that on top, just like she did. Let's see what she does next. So now I'm just gonna go over and conceal the false lash line. She went over and concealed the false lash line. This is the longest time I've taken to watching a five minute video. Like, damn. Go on the lash line. I feel like I don't really have to do this because I used a clear lash glue. I'm applying mascara. So they're applying mascara now and they're using the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and I actually have a sample for that. Okay, what's next? That with Fix Plus. I just wanted more- Wait, she has- they didn't show her lips. What? What the hell? She- has a lip product she, but they didn't show her lips but she has like a very nudie lip this is the BH cosmetic waterproof lip liner in the color nude I think she has candy K on her lips by her birthday collection I will set with Fix Plus. I just want a more dewy effect. Voila. So now she's setting with uh, Fix Plus. I don't have that. But I do have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Voila. I love this glam. So this is my birthday glam. I'm so excited for tonight. I'm about to start my hair. I'm doing something crazy for my hair tonight. I'm just so excited. <laughs> like, for real, let me know how I did. I can't get too close because you guys will see like all of the patchiness. Just everything, I can't. But this is what it looks like. I'll do this. I think I did too bad actually besides my patchy ass face and just but that's totally like it has nothing to do with the tutorial that's just my face anyways thank you so much for watching let me know how I did down below let me know if you've done this challenge yourself and I will see you guys in my next video